Nick, a, a full-on Edinburgh derby, come away with a point. Give us your thoughts after that one. Yeah, my thoughts are that that you know both teams can probably be happy with a point. I thought they were a lot better than us in the first half. They seemed to drop on every second ball. You know, they cope with the emotion of of the the derby better than we did in the first half. And I told the boys at half time, well, you know, it wasn't good enough. We weren't playing the way we've been playing, which shows me that we got sucked to, sucked in a little bit with with playing the emotion. Um, but you have to do that, you know, and you have to win the second balls. You have to compete, and I thought they competed better than us in the first half. Although we had some good opportunities at the start of the game, um, but look, the guy scores a, a fantastic finish, and that gives him a little bit of momentum. Um, and I thought second half they scored against a run of play, a really unlucky on goal. Um, there's a lot of balls deflecting in both boxes during the game, and that was one that just hit hit somebody and and, and, and spun into the goal. So I thought they scored the second goal against a run of play, but I thought. Even at 2-0 down, I knew we could get back in the game and the boys believed it. Um, and I demanded more off all of them, including Ellie. And I thought he really stood up in the second half. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy for, for him to get the two goals. Probably could have uh, won it in the end. Um, uh, John Newell's had a great shot on Boyley, just couldn't get the ball out of his feet a couple of times. But saying that, they've probably had a, a couple of deflections in the box that he just... I don't know where it's going to drop and unfortunately we had Will Will Fish putting his body on the line and Paul Hannon and Rocky and Lewis Miller and Jordan and, and in the midfielders again it was just one of them games it seemed every time someone drove central into the box they ended up in the box and, and the ball's ricocheting around and fortunately uh, probably for both teams um, you know, the, the balls were cleared most of the time but I thought it was a good game of football um, definitely disappointed with the first half and, and I know the boys are as well but it's, uh, I think it's a long time this club came back from, from being 2-0 down yeah, let's let's talk about that then because the response to going two 0 down um, was was really really positive. It shows the character and mentality that you've instilled in these players since you've been in the door. Yeah, it's all about character. You know, you go one 0 down, two 0 down. You know, you're never out of the game with the quality of players that we've got. Um, and, and yeah, disappointed to concede the goals, but I suppose the first goal, apart from blocking it, it's a fantastic strike. The second goal, scrappy. Um, and, and yeah, it just seemed every shot we had was blocked and probably didn't pick the right pass out or the ball's ricocheting in the box but I thought as soon as we got the first goal I thought it was a great finish from Ellie I felt the momentum uh, had already turned at half time and, and I knew we'd get back into the game so yeah massive character you asked for a reaction at half time because the boys knew that wasn't good enough and, and the travelling fans you know, they stuck with us the whole game and they deserve that today so again massive game we know it's a, a big one for the fans so I think both managers can be happy to, to go over the point in the end yeah, some of the players were running on empty as well, weren't they? At the end of the game. Yeah, look, it's been a big, uh, it's a big three or four weeks, and in terms of the intensity that we've been playing at, and the training load's probably gone up at, to, to what they've been used to doing. So yeah, that's the demands that you have to put on them. But you get the rewards later on in the season, and you know we've got two weeks now to to recover some of the boys. Some boys go in and way on international duty, and the rest will be on the training ground because we've definitely got a lot to work on. Um, and, and yeah, definitely uh, didn't play as well as we could have done in the first half, but. Like I said, you asked for a test of character and I think it's over three years the club's come back from 2-0 down. So that's a, a, something that we can take a lot of heart from. Yeah, I just wanted to mention as well, after the, our second goal, the, the celebrations in in the dugout and obviously in the away, and it was it was great scenes, wasn't it? Yeah, great scenes. You know, the elation and it's a derby. You know, you, you, momentum's on your side. You get one goal and you get the second goal. Um, yeah, I think I headbutted Sergio <laughs> during the celebrations. He's probably going to have a fat lip tonight, um, but he'll take that any day for for, for a point. Um, but yeah, they're the moments that like, you work hard all week, and and you know the massive one for the fans. You know, so again, you know, apologies to the fans for not getting three points, but hopefully they can be happy with a point because it showed the real character and fight from the team. Um, and, and again, I thought they were fantastic all the way through the game. Even at 2-0 down, they kept willing us on, and, and that's what that's what you need. Um, and again, I thought both sets of supporters were were great and a great atmosphere. So looking forward to the next one. Yeah, just finally, how's David Marshall? Yeah, he's he's good. Yeah, just had a little tweak in, in in his groin, I think, but he's never really had anything like that before. So yeah, no risk to be honest. Um, you know, he took the goal kick straight afterwards and felt a little bit. So at that moment, you know, we have to make a decision, and that was to bring him off. Um, you know, we got back in the game, and for a, for young Maxim, it was a, a massive opportunity for him to come in in an atmosphere like that and get an experience that he can only learn from. Um, and and yeah, luckily he didn't have many things to do um, apart from a couple of goal kicks. So um, the boys defended well and, and protected him. And I thought everybody today, you know, second half, not first half, second half, uh, really put a good shift in. And the boys that came off the bench as well, you know, Dylan c comes on for Jimmy and 
really, really uh, started connecting stuff in midfield, um, and and Alfie came on and gave us uh, 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 you know good, good, good stuff going forward. And everybody that came on, and, and Paul comes on at the end, the skipper, and you just need that calm head, and won a couple of really, really big headers for us. So, yeah, two weeks now to prepare for a, a game at Ibox. Absolutely, well done, and thank you for speaking to us. Cheers, thank you.